this is my subject so i will take it as i took the class with that sequence i will take this okay five to eight marks subject it is very easy to remember as well okay so we will start anesthesia today okay let's start so, and try to answer first come fasting solid for solid how many how many hours we should fast anyone the answer is 6 to 8 hours okay 6 to 8 hours right but both comes in the question then mark 6 if you are seeing 6 also and 8 also mark 6 okay then comes second question which food normal food tea coffee how many hours of fasting should be there try to answer this it is 6 hours ok it is 6 hours 8 hours should go for non veg fatty or oily food right biryani chole puri chole bhature should go for 8 hours okay should go for 8 hours right clear fluids should we should fast for 2 hours now tell me what is the meaning of clear fluid anyone right on this yes water and they will write down like this juices without pulp right all of you had a pulpy orange right that is not going to come in this category okay that should come in six hours juices without pulp coconut water right coconut water right not coconut shake coconut shake again it will be thick with milk so six hours coconut clear water will come and of course normal water will come right new nets breast milk can be given till four hours formulated milk how much what do you think yes in fact when you don't know the answer answer is every time going to stay as six hours okay every time it is going to stay six hours this was from the fasting and they are going to ask it again okay one more question from this general topic hair removal hair removal should be done or not no okay if there is none of the above you have to mark none of the above okay what we will do first do not remove the hair okay reason being if we are going to remove hair by shaving that you think there will be micro bleeds okay so hairs are not removed what we will do if at all patient is hairy we will use clippers okay we will clip the hairs Trimming is shaving, right? Microbleed chance. Clippers. Clippers nahi option mein. Then we will use laser. Right? We will burn the air. Shaving nahi karte. Wo purana tarika tha. Ab nahi hai. Okay? First of all, you should not remove the hair. If patient is hairy, use hair clippers to clip the hairs. If that is not in the option. Last option will be laser. Okay? Shaving, trimming, nahi karte. Okay? 
रीजन चांसेस ऑफ माइक्रोब्लीड इज देयर ठीक है आया समझ में एंड दिस वॉज यूर रिसेंट क्वेश्चन then comes pre anesthetic air evaluation of airway intubation in elderly patient is done by examiner's favorite that is malam patti grading malam patti grading now tell me asa grading is used for asa grading is used for remember to check physical status of the patient physical status right aldred score or modified aldred score kis liye use karte yes post anesthetic discharge okay post anesthetic discharge okay From where? From Paku. Okay. Post anesthesia care unit. Okay. From post anesthesia care unit, if you want to discharge the patient, we will use aldrate scoring. Okay. Now, why we are using malampatti grading? Why we are using malampatti grading? It is to predict. Difficult intubation, right? It is to predict difficult intubation. But what is the definition of malampatti grading? It is a ratio of tongue to oral cavity. Now both are in the option. to predict the difficult intubation and it is a ratio of tongue to oral cavity what you will mark both are in the option and both are correct if you are getting separate option then you should mark this one okay this is the real definition larger the tongue difficult will be the intubation smaller the size of tongue we will be able to see tonsillar pillar correctly right tip tip of the soft palate is called as uvula the skinny part is called as soft palate and the one which is sitting above hai you na know, hard lagta hai if you will roll out your tongue and try to touch it that is called as hard palate you can remember by the mnemonic push right i have given this mnemonic in your classes push push then comes asa grading why do we use asa grading i just told to check physical status of patient right to check the physical status of patient now normal people normal people are norm, not so normal मतलब क्या होता है हेल्दी पीपल्स विच यू आर नॉट राइट मेनी ऑफ यूर एटिंग ब्रेड पकौड़ा एंड समोसा एंड गौतम नगर राइट यू स्मोक डेली सो यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू कम इन दैटेगरी वन माइल्ड डिसीज विथ नो फंक्शनल लिमिटेशन वॉट डू थिंक विच पेशेंट विल कम इन दिस एज आई जस्ट सेड वाई स्मोकर्स reason as soon as start you uh, start the smoking you are going towards the copd controlled copd hypertension and diabetes right these are the three diseases which are very common in the society so if they are controlled they will come in category then comes moderate with functional limitation moderate with functional limitation now what will come uncontrolled
COPD, hypertension and diabetes. Okay. और क्या आएंगे इसमें मॉडरेट विथ फंक्शनल लिमिटेशन पेशेंट हैड हिस्ट्री ऑफ एम आई सी बी ए राइट कब लेकिन मोर देन थ्री मंथस दैट पेशेंट विल कम इन विच कैटेगरी कैटेगरी थ्री हिस्ट्री ऑफ मोर देन थ्री मंथ वट एम आई सीवीए राइट एम आई और सीवी सीवी को हम बोलते हैं स्ट्रोक राइट दैट पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू कम इन कैटेगरी थ्री और याद रखना स्टेबल एंजाइना स्टेबल एंजाइना विल कम इन कैटेगरी थ्री ना कम्स सीवियर सिस्टमिक डिसीजेस विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रेट टू लाइफ उसका मतलब क्या है फॉर एग्जाम्पल पेशेंट हैड एम आई Again, patient can have MI or CVA, right? That patient will come in category four. कौन सा होता है? Less than three month history of MI or CVA. An unstable MI, unstable angina. It is a constant threat. So, patient is with unstable and angina will come in. कैटेगरी फोर ठीक है कौन सा कैटेगरी में आएगा कैटेगरी फोर ठीक है मरी बाउंड पेशेंट अनलाइकली टू सरवाइव मरी बाउंड पेशेंट अनलाइकली टू सरवाइव कौन सा होंगे वट डू थिंक फॉर एग्जांपल पेशेंट इज हैविंग मल्टीपल ट्रॉमा राइट पेशेंट इज हैविंग मल्टीपल ट्रॉमा के मरा पड़ा इन शॉर्ट पेशेंट इज मरा पड़ा कौन से कौन से होंगे यस यस मैसेव ट्रामा पेशेंट हैड एवोटिक एनुरिज्म इन दैट ट्रामा राइट दिस पेशेंट विल कम इन कैटेगरी फाइव राइट ना पेशेंट एक क्वेश्चन पूछता हूं इस पे दैट इज वेरी ट्रिकी बट इट इज इजी एट द सेम टाइम patient had hba1c of 8 patient had hba1c of 8 in which category this patient will come try to answer more than 7. फाइव और फॉर टू नो मतलब तुम्हारे नॉलेज के लिए मोर देन सेवन इट इज गोइंग टू बी अनकंट्रोल्ड डायबिटीज इट इज गोइंग टू बी अनकंट्रोल्ड डायबिटीज सो इट विल कम इन कैटेगरी थ्री ओके कैटेगरी थ्री ब्रेन डेड पेशेंट ब्रेन डेड पेशेंट ओके दिस पेशेंट विल बी यूज फॉर organ donation where we will use this patient we will use this patient for organ donation right but of course without consent we are not going to take out organs okay you need a consent from the patient himself before dying right will banar ki wasiyat or else their relatives are willing to donate their patient's organ Okay, then only we can take organ out of the body. Then comes intravenous anesthetic agent, IV agents, right? IV agents. This is not a classical table, but still you should know which drugs come in IV agent. This question has been asked. Okay, so intravenous broadly divided into barbiturates and non-barbiturates. Barbiturates you can remember by the mnemonic. M T B, methoxidone, thiopentone, and thiamyl. M T B, okay. M T B. Non-barbiturates, rest of the IV drugs, okay. Important drugs that you should know from this table is propofol, right? Examiner's favorite. Ketamine, 
these are two very important drugs rest one liners okay rest are one liners now we will finish some one liners over here only we will finish some one liner over here only methohexidone methohexidone it is a drug of choice for what anyone a drug of choice for or IV agent of choice for no one ECT electroconvulsion therapy yes correct ECT right then comes etomidate etomidate DOC for what or agent of choice anesthetic agent of choice for what Yes, it is a most cardiovascular stable agent. Okay, most cardiovascular stable agent. Okay, how you will remember? Many of you are from the Russian territories, right? Russian territories. It Maya date. It Maya date. It's my date. Or jab tum date pe jaate ho, there will be heart to heart connection, right? It the Maya date. It's my date. Date goes to heart directly, right? Dil se dil milta hai. So it on date. Theek hai? It on date. Dex medito meeting is. Alpha 2 agonist. Alpha 2 agonist. Okay. These are some one liners. Now comes rest of the drug. Which of the following is cerebral productive? The answer is thiopentone. Okay. Thiopentone. If thiopentone is not in the option, then of course you will go for propofol. Okay. Propofol. Cerebral production is done by thiopentone. Okay. Where do we use thiopentone? DOC4. Neurosurgery, right? Neurosurgery. Okay. Yes. Then comes side effect of thiopentone. This is examiner's favorite. Okay. This is examiner's favorite. What do you think? Yes. Pneumonia kya hai? Content bhi batao andar ke. Yes, bronchial, asthma, shock, and porphyria. Okay, bronchial asthma, shock, and porphyria. Okay, yes, correct. Except consa porphyria, if at all asked, porphyria. Punieta tarda. There are so many types of porphyria. You you have studied this in biochemistry and patho, right? That is the question actually. Acute intermittent porphyria. Which drug is contraindicated? The answer is thiopentone. Okay, we are not going to use in any kind of porphyria. We are not going to use thiopentone. Ye tumara bus. Theoretically, likha hua hai. Okay. It is theoretically written. Nothing else. Okay. And one more question. Okay. Iska matla hota hai. We can give thiobenton in porphyria cuneata tarda. Okay. We can give thiobenton in this 
टाइप ऑफ फोर फाइव ठीक है यूज नहीं करते स्टिल बट थे रिटर्न है एक्यूट इंटरमीडियट प्रोफाइल है इट इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटर ठीक है इट इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गू थाय पेंटॉन इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गू थाय पेंटॉन एक्सीडेंटली इट वेंट इन टू आर्ट्री इट वेंट इन टू आर्ट्री सो इट कैन कॉज एक्सीडेंटल okay i will not repeat the story which i have used in class intra arterial injection patient can have necrosis right ischemia ischemia of the yahan dete hain right i have used this story right can have gangrene or ischemia or necrosis of the fingers can have this then we come to the propofol okay propofol what i said in the class if you remember good boy okay when anything good is given in the exam hall or when you don't know the answer answer is propofol okay answer is propofol when you don't know the answer answer will be propofol what is the color of propofol that is milky white right milky white additives additives कौन से होते हैं एडिटिव एडिटिव मतलब टू कीप द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ प्रोफोफॉल सेम एज इट इज बिकॉज इट इज अ केमिकल कंपाउंड ओके सो ब्रेकेज ऑफ बॉन्ड इन केमिकल कंपाउंड कैन हैपन सो टू कीप दैट बॉन्ड वी विल हैव एडिटिव राइट यस निमोनिक एग लेसिथिन G stand for what? Glycerol. S stand for yes, correct. So I have been oil. Now tell me, patient. Drug के अंदर क्या है? What do we have in drug? We have agglycithin, right? So there are chances of bacterial contamination, right? there are chances of bacterial contamination so what we will do if we will if you are going to open the vial of propofol if you are going to open the vial of propofol it should be dis discarded it should be discarded in how many hours in 6 hours okay in 6 hours once it is opened once it is open we have to discard within the 6 hours okay examiner's favorite question drug of choice for doc single best answer right doc for day care surgery And just remember the hint when you don't know the answer answer is going to stay Propofol, right? Propofol. Kitamine. क्या बोला था? This is our bad boy. Okay, this is our bad boy. It is a pencyclidine. Derivative, right? इट इज ए पेन साइक्लिन डेरिवेटिव राइट इसका मतलब होता है कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड भांग ओके किटामिन इज नथिंग इट इज अ भांग सो इट इज अवर बैड बॉय और भांग बॉय सो वॉट एवर द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ अ भांग और यू कैन से गांजा हु स्मोक इट इट विल बी सेम ओके इट विल बी सेम इट एक्ट ऑन वॉट विच रिसेप्टर NMDA receptor. 
it acts on nmda receptor so what will be the side effect of it kisi ne nasha kiya hai nahi kiya hai as soon as you will have bhang or ganja what happens first there will be increase in heart rate okay heart rate increase hoga it will cause tachycardia right as soon as heart increases what will happen in brain many of you had this increase in bp and heart rate patient will have headache right tumhara bhi hota hai same patient will have it right after some time what will happen yes patient will have delirium okay patient will have delirium wo mujhe chhod ke kyu gayi hai na ya wo mere samne dikhne lag gayi राइट कि वो सामने खड़ी है मेरे राइट और एल्स यू हैव वॉच द मूवी संजू राइट सेम थिंग विल हैपन वी विल थिंक लाइक दैट वी आर ऑन द माउंटेन राइट एंड वी कैन नॉट स्केप दैट माउंटेन राइट और तुम्हें फॉर एग्जांपल बर्फ उड़ गए और तुम उड़ रहे हो सेम थिंग विल हैपन इन किटामिन एज वेल बट वाई डू वी यूज इट के remember all iv agents are poor analgesics okay all iv agents are poor analgesics okay and all the rest of the iv agents are going to decrease everything decrease in bp heart rate pulse rate everything but the beauty of ketamine is it is going to increase everything and ye dard ki dawa hai right dard ki dawa hai so it is a good analgesic it is a good analgesics okay it is going to increase everything right it is going to increase everything now where we can use this right when acche log तुम्हें छोड़ के जाते हैं राइट वेन द पीपल लीव यू देर इज अन बैड गाय इन यूर ग्रुप फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप हु कम्स टू हेल्प यू एवरी टाइम दैट इज द ब्लडी किटामिन राइट हम बुरे है जनाब बुरे वक्त में काम आएंगे रिमेंबर रेस्ट ऑफ द ड्रग्स आर कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन शॉक बट दिस ड्रग इज यूज इन shock reason shock may bp is going to decrease heart rate is going to decrease so there is a benefit of this drug it is going to increase okay it is going to increase many of you have might have came from ukraine right there is going to be a war again bura waqt right there is bura waqt hai na aur hamara drug kya hai bure waqt mein kaam aayega so it is used in war zone it is used in war zone yes earthquake earthquake right bad boy to bure waqt mein hi aayega right and one more thing bad people do not hurt children so it is iv agent of choice in children iv agent of choice in children theek hai side effect kya tha iska just remember post operative shouting and abusing post operative shouting and abusing will be seen with the ketamine right ki ye कौन था जिसने मुझे ऑपरेट किया या वो कौन था जिसने मुझे ड्रग दिया राइट और मोस्ट ऑफ द बैड वर्ड्स विल बी यूज्ड विद किटामिन ओके एंड थैंक यू डॉक्टर विल बी सेड बाय प्रोपोपॉल ओके थैंक यू डॉक्टर विल बी सेड विद प्रोपोपॉल ओके राइट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन
Yes. Increase in MAC, that is minimum alveolar concentration. Okay. Decrease in potency. How many of you are important? Is there anyone? Okay, how many of you are potent? No? Which are No, right? Okay, what is the meaning of this? Highest the MAC, there will be least potency. Okay, highest the MAC, least potency. Least the MAC, highest the potency. So now tell me from the table, which of the following has maximum potency or most potent? Just remember, chota packet, bada dhamaka. This is most potent, right? This is most potent. Which will be the least potent? Bada hai. Per kaam ka nahi hai. This is least potent. Okay. This is least potent. But sometimes you are going to be asked whole sequence. Okay. Or else you would have seen the question that they are coming from the recently used inhalational anesthetic agent or commonly used inhalational anesthetic agent. Right. Halothen, isofluorine, sevoflurane, and desflurane are the commonly used anesthetic, inhalational anesthetic agent. So you should know the sequency. Now tell me which has highest potency from the commonly used inhalational anesthetic agent. What do you think? Halothen, followed by? Isofluorine followed by SIBO followed by DES. You can remember by the mnemonic his D. Okay, you can remember by the mnemonic his D. Now tell me. Correct. Hai. Highest MAC kiska hai in commonly used. Yes. Desfluorine followed by S followed by I followed by H. What you need to do, you remember the one opposite uska hai. Okay, his dika opposite will come in highest MAC from the commonly used inhalational anesthetic agent. Option me yehi mostly aate. Okay, option me yehi mostly aate. What is the answer? Fastest induction and recovery. Okay. Induction means patient is going into the anesthesia. Okay. And recovery means coming out of the anesthesia. So which one is the fastest? Okay. <clears throat> Least should be the blood gas solubility. Okay. Least should be the plus blood gas solubility. Now, slowest will be opposite. Blood gas solubility is kya hongi? More. Maximum blood gas solubility. Now, tell me which is the fastest. Fastest will be xenon. Fastest induction 
and a recovery. Which one will be the slowest one? That is methoxyfluorine. Okay, this one will be the slowest one, right? But question may agar currently used or commonly used in inhalational anesthetic agent aya to what? Fastest induction and recovery from the currently used. Yes, desflurane followed by C4 followed by ISO followed by halothane. This is the sequence, right? Now, maximum blood gas solubility with currently used. Just reverse this, right? The mnemonic is is D. Remember maximum blood gas solubility and remember maximum potency. Opposite house kit, okay? Bas. Okay, I mean workload come karna hai. and no need to remember the values. Okay, values are unlikely to be asked. Okay, so don't remember the values, just remember this. Now we will go on individually on one on one drugs. IV agent and inhalational anesthetic agent are important and they are asked every time. They are going to be asked every time. H stand for hepatitis. H stand for hepatitis. Okay. T stand for what? What do you think? I am not going to draw whole halothene mnemonic now. Yes, it is going to cause thermia. Konsa thermia? The thermia which have we have in anesthesia is called as malignant hyperthermia. Okay. H goes with H. At least remember this most of the time it has been asked. And whenever you are going to get question on malignant hyperthermia, there are only two drugs they are going to write down. One is halothane and second one is succinyl choline. Okay? Succinyl choline. Okay? Isofluorine. Anyone? Isofluorine. Kya hai hai? Most cardiovascular stable inhalational anesthetic agent. Most cardiovascular stable inhalational anesthetic agent. Right? IV me kon sa tha? At the myadate. That means etomidate. Right? Iso means what? Same, right? Iso ka matlab kya hota hai? Same. Hai na? Flu or flute or basuri. Agar ek dusre ke dil mein bajengi, right? If there is a basuri in both, then only your heart can meet, right? So same flute. Kya honga uske baad? Dil se dil milenga, right? Same flute, dil se dil milenga. Okay, something is better than nothing. Sivofluorine, sivofluorine. S stand for sweet. S stand for sweet, right? And who loves the sweet? You are a baby, right? You are a baby. So it is. Agent of choice in children. Okay, agent of choice in children. Baby go person and sweet. So agent of choice in children is sevoflurane. Now it is inhalational anesthetic agent of choice in adult. Kiss me what inhalational. Agent of choice in adult. Kiss me, kiss me. Hepatic surgery 
right? Neuro surgery and one more. Yes. Asthma. You can remember by the mnemonic henna. Right? Hena ka matlab hota hai mehndi. Right? Hena. Hepatic surgery, neurosurgery and asthma. Okay? This is where we are going to use. Which compound is produced by seoflurane? There is one compound it produces. Toxic compound kun sa hota hai? The name of that compound is compound A. Kya hota hai? Compound A, which is nephrotoxic. Okay, which is nephrotoxic, right? Then come desflurane. Desflurane ka use karte? Anyone? Revise kar rahe hai to saath saath mein karo. Likhne ko to mein likhta jaunga, mujhe kya jata. Right. Mujhse to aana Wo to pneumonic ho gaya na. Andar kya? It is agent of choice for renal patient. Yes. Renal patient. O for yes. Obes or old patient right reason why we are going to use it in obese patient desflurane has least fat gas solubility least fat gas solubility is with desflurane obese patient mein kya hota hai? fat jada hota hai, right and l stand for long duration surgery Recent question. It has a special vaporizer. I have told you the name of that special vaporizer way before that question is asked. Actually, tech six. Okay, tech six. Reason yes. Boiling point of desflurane is room temperature. Okay, that is around 22 degrees Celsius. That's why we have tech 6 Okay, special vaporizer. Case the we will see it in due some time. Then we come to methoxyflurane. Kya kya karwata? It is most potent. Okay, most potent. Most nephrotoxic. Though it is most potent, but it is most nephrotoxic. That's why we are not using it anymore. And S stand for what? Sensitizes. Hearts to adrenaline, right? Affinity of the adrenaline towards the heart will be increased. Okay, towards the heart will be increased. Then comes nitrous oxide. Take the points, batao iske. For what purpose we use nitrous oxide? It is a carrier gas. It is a carrier gas, right? It is a carrier gas, right? Kya bolte hai mishe? Second gas effect, ya do to. Third gas effect. Okay, it is seen with nitrous oxide, right? Yes, fink effect, correct? Physiology mein pata hai tumhe ye cheez hai. Now, where it is contraindicated? In which surgery? The surgery which is done in air spaces, air spaces 
कौन से होते हैं एयर स्पेस का मतलब ये मत समझना का इन द स्काय वेयर इन द पेशेंट वी विल हैव एयर एयर जिसमें प्रेजेंट होंगे उसमें एग्जाम्पल न्यूमोथोरैक्स सुना है एयर होती है इसके अंदर राइट right? यस yes. और कहा करेक्ट ये याद रखना जरूरी है मिडल ईयर सर्जरी यू हैव अटेंडेड द क्लास विथ मी फॉर ई एन टी एज ए सेड मिडल ईयर के अंदर वी हैव एयर रीजन बी मिडल ईयर इज कनेक्टेड विथ नेजो फेरिंग्स मिडल ईयर इज विथ कनेक्टेड विथ नेजो फेरिंग्स बाई यू स्टेशन ट्यू सो मिडल ईयर के अंदर एयर है so over there we cannot use nitrous oxide and one one liner side effect okay remember it causes megaloblastic anemia it causes megaloblastic anemia theek hai pucha ja sakta hai so you should know it then we come to the opioids then we come to the opioids okay opioids are divided into pure agonist partial agonist mixed and pure antagonist okay pure antagonist pure agonist can be remembered by the mnemonic m f asur okay mf osur don't ask me what is mf okay partial agonist can be remember by the mnemonic bp okay mixed can be remember by the mnemonic pnb okay punjab national bank right and pure antagonist uska matlab kya hota hai pure opposite of the opioid action right antagonist ka matlab kya hota hai opposite so it will be used as an antidote in opioid poisoning right so all are pure no n n n except one n okay all are no n right antagonist na except nalbufen theek hai now tell me opioids acts in brain kahan par एनी वन ब्रेन में कहा एक्ट करते याद है रोस्ट्रो वेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ मेडुला रोस्ट्रो वेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ मेडुला करेक्ट इन स्पाइनल कोड वे डू दैट एनीवन सब्सटेंशिया व्हिच वन यस सब्सटेंशिया जिलेटिनोसा ओके नॉट नायगरा ओके सब्सटेंशिया जिलेटिनोसा वेयर ओपियड्स आर गोइंग टू एक्ट ओके वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ओपियड्स in only one drug they are same with every opioid morphine causes what anyone morphine causes sedation right uske baad analgesia okay pain triangle you would have heard pain tiger in the psm or in the pharma Okay, on the top of that pain triangle, what we have? We have opioids. Okay, top pe kono opioids. So analgesia. So where we will use? M I monas or sonom. That M stand for morphine or cancer pain. Right? In cancer, if the pain is not controlled by the normal painkillers. last option will be morphine or fentanyl patch morphine or fentanyl patch okay it causes constipation 
कंस्टिपेशन कंस्टिपेशन से स्टार्ट होगा एंड पेशेंट विल हैव डायरिया क्या बोलते इसे कॉल्ड एज ओपियोइड बावल सिंड्रोम दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ओपियोइड बावल सिंड्रोम राइट पेशेंट विल हैव रिस्पायरेटरी डिप्रेशन रिस्पायरेटरी डिप्रेशन है सो वेर वी कैन नॉट यूज दिस ड्रग मॉर्टिन का यूज नहीं कर सकते राइट आंसर till then i will write down the rest it causes euphoria yes we cannot use it in asthma right in asthma we are going to have respiratory depression right last one is meiosis you can remember by the pneumonic sacrum okay you can use this mnemonic theek hai chali aage chale fentanyl and remi fentanyl just remember fentanyl is most commonly used opioid okay most commonly used opioid in india now tum bologe sir ye use kahan hota hai okay right you haven't seen the patient where we you are using penta isko penta bolte short form mein icu okay to keep patients sedated right kisi ko pain ho raha hai right patient is intubated so we have to keep the patient sedated as well as there is going to be pain in the throat right so to avoid that pain also analgesia uska property so over there we will using fentanyl as a iv infusion kya bol raha hai iv infusion uska matlab kya hota hai 1 ml 2 ml per hour okay there we are going to use fenta ठीक है फेंटा यस हाँ द क्वेश्चन विच हैज बीन आस्ट और कैन बी अगेन आस्ट इज दैट रूट ऑफ गिविंग फेंटानिल फेंटानिल कैन बी गिवन बाय आई वी इंट्रामस्कुलर इंट्राथिकल ट्रांसम्यूकोसल ट्रांसफर्मल पैच एंड इपिड्यूरल एज वेल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंट्राथिकल इंट्राथिकल मीन्स इंट्रास्पाइनल इंट्रास्पाइन ठीक है विच रूट वी कैन नॉट गिव कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड बाय विच रूट फेंटानिल एनी वन यस इट इज इंट्राडर्मल intradermal root transmucosal means lollipops right whenever you are you are having a chocolate that sugar is transmitted by transmucosal root in your mouth okay lollipops even we used to give ecospirin or sorbitrate sorbitrate zaban ke niche rakhne lagate right that is by transmucosal root yes yes so at least remember this rest can be given remi fentanyl just remember ramu ka chota ramu ka chota shortest acting opioid shortest acting opioid so where we will use this it is a opioid of choice in day care surgery okay yes where we cannot give remifentanil what do you think we cannot give by the root kaun sa it is contraindicated by epidural root 
okay it is contraindicated by epidural root reason if it is given by epidural root it causes motor paresis kya karwayenge motor paresis paralysis okay motor paralysis will happen reason being iska weight zyada hota hai okay weight zyada hota hai alfentanil or supentanil alfentanil ka yaad rakhna it has maximum chest wall rigidity called as wooden chest syndrome kya karwata hai wooden chest syndrome fauladi sina okay fauladi sina su fentanyl su fentanyl su stand for super s stand for super i called it as super opioid theek hai सुपर ओपियाइड उसका मतलब क्या हुआ इट इज मोस्ट पोटेंट यस इट इज मोस्ट पोटेंट ओपियोड इट इज मोस्ट पोटेंट ओपियोड करेक्ट देन वी कम टू न्यूरो मस्कुलर ब्लॉकर ओके सम पार्ट इज टॉट टू यू बाय फार्मा पीपल्स ओके इन दैट rest of the part is taught by me right nm neuromuscular blocker okay kaun se kaun se hote depolarizing non depolarizing and mixed onium compound right depolarizing we have only one drug the name of that drug is succinylcholine okay but in non depolarizing we have two groups amino steroids and benzyl isoquinolones forget everything if you are not able to remember remember the mnemonic पी वी आर ओके अमाइन स्टीरोइड्स कौन से पी वी आर बेंजाइल आइसोकोनोलॉन कैन बी रिमेंबर बाय द न्यूमोनिक म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ दिल्ली इज ए ग्रेड ओके म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ दिल्ली इज ए ग्रेड मिवा क्यूरोनियम सीसाइट्रा क्यूरोनियम डॉक्सा डी ट्यूबो एनाइट्रा ओवर हियर पैपी आर में कौन सा रहा पैन पाइपी वे रॉक क्यूरोनियम एंड रैपा क्यूरोनियम है ना क्यूरोनियम 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 सब लिखा है जस्ट रिमेंबर द अल्फाबेट्स लाइफ विल बी इजी ठीक है सक्सिनाइल कोलिन और सक्सा मिथोनियम इसी को हम लिखते हैं राइट एच सी एच एज आ सेड वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट क्वेश्चन ऑन मैलिग्नेंट हाइपर आइदर दे विल राइट ऑन सक्सेनाइल कोलिन इन ऑप्शन और हेलोथेन ओके सक्सेनाइल कोलिन और हेलोथेन सो द मेजर साइड इफेक्ट इज मैलिग्नेंट हाइपर थर्मिया सो इट इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन चिल्ड्रन it is contraindicated in children but why still we are using this drug if you remember ketamine right there is a one more bad boy the name of that bad boy is succinylcholine right kya karwata hai malignant hyperthermia it also increases potassium okay hyperkalemia it can cause hyperkalemia as well but remember it is a ideal muscle relaxant for intubation okay it has shortest half life okay within seconds patient will be sedated okay patient will be sedated for example during cpr right or patient is on what full stomach patient राइट स्ट्रोक आया था पेशेंट वॉज ऑन द स्ट्रोक स्ट्रोक आ गया उसे एंड पेशेंट हैज हैड फूड ऑलरेडी उसका मतलब क्या है 
everyone is going to eat right everyone is going to eat before coming to the emergency no one is going to come on empty stomach right no one is going to come on empty stomach so of course kaun sa use karenge that is succinyl choline bore waqt mein succinyl choline again will be used theek hai other ketamine tha iv mein the second bad boy which is commonly used is succinyl choline do it has a side effects okay but jaan bachana zaruri hai then only we can cover the side effects right so it is a ideal muscle relaxant agent theek hai then comes maximum histamine release okay maximum histamine release is seen with which drug anyone we have discussed this d tubo cure right d tubo cure followed by atra followed by mivacuronium and followed by doxa right maximum histamine release d tubo atra miva and doxa कैसे याद रखना था हम हमने याद रखा था कैसे राइट बिरयानी कब अच्छी लगती है व्हेन इट इज कुक्ड विथ दम राइट सो एनीवन किस दम है ना बिरयानी को दम दो देन ओनली वी विल लाइक बिरयानी राइट मैक्सिमम स्टेमिन रिलीज इज सीन विद डीटीओ इफ डीटीओ इज नॉट इन द ऑप्शन एट्रा atra is not in the option miva miva is not in the option doxa now most potent muscle relaxant most potent muscle relaxant how many of you have watched movie chichore sushant sin movie right over there we had a one character now we have other character in medical line that is doxa right mota tha same we have the most potent potent drug name of that drug is doxycuronium okay doxycuronium chal if you remembered as i said in iv agent when you don't know the answer answer is propofol when you don't know the answer answer is going to be atracuronium or cisatra okay cisatra is updated version of atracuronium so muscle relaxant mein jab answer nahi pata hai answer is cis atra or atracuronium theek hai liver kidney neonates neuromuscular disorder myasthenia gravis old age pregnancy everything for everything the answer is going to be cis atracuronium theek hai answer is going to be cis atra curonium ve curonium it is a most cardio vascular stable kya hai muscle relaxant okay how to remember b stand for ventricle ventricle ka hote it is present in the heart so most cardiovascular stable agent right muscle relaxant say then comes rocuronium 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 kya hai it is non depolarizing muscle relaxant of choice for what for intubation intubation if you don't have succinyl choline and if you don't need succinyl choline the agent which is used is rocuronium okay and believe me this is also at the same level like succinyl choline rocuronium is used even instead of using succinyl choline if i have you are asking me which agent i use on day to day basis that is rocuronium okay rocuronium and fentanyl so this is also a very good drug and it is used commonly galamine one line which you need to remember about galamine galamine how you will remember by using hindi word gala by using hindi word gala right 
whenever you are having a vomiting which come out of gala right so maximum vagolytic action is present with gala right nausea and vomiting maximally will be caused by galamine or galamine you can remember by this logic first question remember local anesthetic agents acts on any every channel so answer is all of the above okay all of the above but if they are going to give you separate option what i'm saying separate option then answer will be sodium okay then answer will be sodium okay समझ आया ये क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट नाउ लोकल एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट आर ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इन टू अमाइनो एस्टर्स एंड अमाइनो अमाइड नो नीड टू रिमेंबर ठीक है don't need to remember the classification how you will remember by just the hints how many i are present in amino esters one i cocaine has one i procaine has one i chlorprocaine has one i tetracaine has one i benzocaine has one i okay so i goes to i ठीक है, I goes to I. Then comes amino amide. How many eyes are there? Two, right? So lignocene or lignocaine has two I. Mepivacaine two I. Prilocaine two I. Bupivacaine two I. Etidocaine two I. And ropivacaine two I. Right? This is the way to remember. One I goes with one I. Two I goes with two I. राइट right? ये था अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ड्रग नाउ कम्स अकॉर्डिंग टू ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एक्शन ओके ऑल ऑफ यू नो द हिंट विच वी हैव यूज्ड इफ यस देन आई विल नॉट टेल द निमोनिक अगेन बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पब्लिक पब्लिक राइट प्रो चल पीसीएम ली राइट एंड लास्ट वन क्या था बेटर रो दो राइट प्रो चल पीसीएम ली बेटर रो दो right which one is the shortest acting which one is the shortest acting chlorprocaine is shortest okay chlorprocaine is shortest no procaine nahi hai chlorprocaine is the shortest acting if it is not in the option then of course procaine right and if d is long then only fun right if d is long then only fun so longest acting is Dibuke, but believe me, anything can be mixed. So you should know which drug comes in which category. Okay, which drug comes in which category? Mixing करके answer change हो सकता है. Okay, mixing can be done.
patient is unresponsive and, and pulse is not recordable. So of course we will do CPR, right? We will do CPR. Now comes what they have asked. They ask you the single best answer. What they have asked? Single best answer. So remember, it is actually local anesthesia toxicity. Okay. Local anesthesia toxicity. The drug of choice for local anesthesia toxicity or bupivacaine toxicity is what? 20% intraliquid. So answer is CPR with 20% intra lipid. Okay. Antidote pucha hai tume local anesthesia toxicity. Ka. Okay. The answer is 20% intra lipid. Okay. Then comes examiner's favorite layers of spinal cord. The irony is there is no mnemonic. Okay. Now tell me epidural anesthesia will be given in which space? epidural anesthesia right it is going to be given in epidural space right spinal anesthesia ka it is going to be given in subarachnoid space right csf ka present hota it is present in subarachnoid space so spinal anesthesia is given in this now what they will ask before giving epidural anesthesia, which structure of spinal cord is pierced? Which structure of spinal cord is pierced? Yes. Before giving epidural anesthesia, which structure of spinal cord is pierced? The name of that structure is ligamentum flavum. Right? Ligamentum flavum. Right? Before giving spinal anesthesia, which structure of spinal cord is pierced? This is the sequence from outside to inside. Which structure is pierced? That is arachnoid matter, arachnoid space. Okay. Which structure is pierced? Arachnoid space or arachnoid matter. Second question, which ligament is pierced before giving spinal anesthesia? Eki to ligament hai, end me. The name of that ligament will be ligamentum flavum. Question, goma diya bas. Which ligament is pierced before giving spinal anesthesia? This is the sequence from inside, outside to inside. Which ligament is here? Here it is. The rest is on it. Right? Understood this? Now, confirmatory signs of epidural anesthesia is loss of resistance. Okay? Spinal anesthesia ka kya hota hai? Spinal anesthesia, we are going to give it in the CSF, right? CSF mein. So if you are putting a needle inside the CSF, what will happen? That CSF will come out, right? Usi ko bolte Return of CSF. Okay, return of CSF, right? Chal. Then comes epidural or and spinal anesthesia needle. Okay, epidural and spinal anesthesia needle. There are three types of needle which we use for spinal anesthesia. One is Quinkis, second one is Vitacre, and third one is Sports. Okay, Quinkis needle is like the same needle which we have in cannula or which needle which we use to take for samples. Okay. Uspe cut honga. Uspe kya? Cut honga. Thik hai? Ye teda wala cut honga uske andar. Right? It will have that teda wala cut. Then comes Vitacre. All of you are using iPads or you have 
some other tab which have pain, which has pain. Take a look over here. This is Vitakre. This is Vitakre needle. Same, okay? Same. And then is Sportse. Sportse will have blunt tip. What it will have? It will have a blunt tip. Vitagra and Sportse look same. Just remember the distance. It is less in Vitagra and it is more in Sportse. Okay, more in Sportse. Okay, we are not taking offline class. So, of course, I cannot tell you in the detail. Epidural anesthesia. Epidural anesthesia in detail is very easy. Nagin. Snake. Okay. Snake like needle. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. Right? It is two hoist needle. It is two hoist needle. Okay? Two hoist needle. Recent question from your exam. What is this? Yes, it is bis monitor by spectral index monitor right bis monitor what do where do we use we use for depth of general anesthesia right depth of general anesthesia right what are the values which we see 0 to 100 0 to 100 0 means what patient is in coma and 100 stand for what yes fully awake right those who haven't studied anesthesia before now they are not awake okay their bispectral index will come around 90 or 85 uh, some people are about to sleep or leave this session they are around 80 right they will go and sleep Intraoperative target care. By spectral index ka, that is 40 to 60. Right? 60 ke upar ja hai bis. That means we have to increase the dose of anesthetic agent, right? And if it is going less than 40, that means we have to decrease the dose of anesthetic agent or else patient can go in coma. Right? The answer is Alna. Alna or now. Remember when you don't know the answer, answer for any question regarding nerve involved will be anar now okay even in the diseases also what we are measuring by this we are measuring the dose and effect of neuromuscular blocker intraoperative as well as post operative as well Neuromuscular blocker or muscle reaction hum agar de rahe patient ko. So we will measure the dose and effect of neuromuscular blocker by using nerve and muscle monitor. Neuromuscular blocker monitor. Isi ko hum kya bolte? Train of four monitor. Agar yaad ho Train of four monitor. Right? Which nerve is used? It is in front of you, ulnar, right? 
बट हम क्या मेजर करें न्यूरो मस्कुलर सो वन मसल्स नेम शुड बी देयर राइट सो मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज मसल कौन सी है दैट इज एडक्टर पॉलिसिस okay adductor pollicis okay this is the muscle which we are going to monitor then we come to your favorite question cannula right cannula all of you know the color coding of the cannula jisne class kiya usse to aata hai those who haven't attended remember the mnemonic o gear great god please bless your vinayak okay at least remember my name you know yes spelling mistake right o great god please bless your vinayak and that is the sequence of highest flow rate cannula to the least flow rate cannula okay 14 gauze is it has maximum flow rate okay okay maximum flow rate is present with orange question ke sath hai patient presented with rta and he need a immediate immediate fluid transfusion or blood transfusion which of the following cannula has maximum flow rate okay option may for example orange gray green pink so which one has the maximum flow rate orange right if orange is not in the option then gray gray is not in the option green green is not in the option pink right इसके नीचे भी जा रहा है दैट मीन्स पेशेंट एग्जामिनर ने क्वेश्चन गलत बनाया राइट एंड दे के विल आस्क यू इवन कलर कोडिंग बाय गिविंग द कैनोलाज ओके यू वुड हैव सीन दिस कैनोला राइट यू हैव सीन अ नॉर्मल कैनोला राइट दैट कम्स फॉर हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड देर इज वन मोर कैनोला विच कम्स फॉर सेवन हंड्रेड टू एट हंड्रेड रुपीज प्रेजेंट इन एम्स कलर कोडिंग इज प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर in the normal cannula and if you see the other cannula color coding yahan par bhi hai okay right koi bhi image the the grading uh, color coding or gauze size is going to remain remain same 14 16 18 20 22 and 24 26 okay okay You would have seen a gauze size of seventeen. That is white, right? It is not present in India. Okay, वो India में नहीं है. And remember this: there is nothing called most common cannula used in. Okay, ये नहीं है. Reason being, it depends on the skills of doctor, which cannula they can put. Okay, which cannula they can put. Orange cannula is like a small knife. इतना बड़ा हो सकता है, right? इट इज लाइक अ स्मॉल नाइफ सो ऑरेंज कैनला डालने के लिए बहुत एक्सपर्टीज चाहिए राइट ग्रे कैनला एवरीबडी कैन पुट इट इफ यू आर एक्सपर्ट इन दिस राइट ग्रीन एंड पिंक वी यूज यूजली यूज फॉर द पेशेंट हु आर गोइंग टू स्टे ओवर दर राइट ग्रे पिंक ब्लू एडल्ट में यूज करेंगे येलो ब्लू एंड वायलेट विल बी यूज इन चिल्ड्रंस ठीक है तो देर इज नथिंग कॉल्ड मोस्ट कॉमन कैमरा ठीक है मेक इट क्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस दिस इन ग्रेट डिटेल वेन वी आर टेकिंग द क्लास वॉट इज दिस सी बी सी राइट सेंट्रल वेनस कैथेटर सेंट्रल वेनस कैथेटर वेन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सेंट्रल वेनस कैथेटर वेन देर इज कब यूज करेंगे एंड पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू स्टे फॉर प्रोलॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन राइट 
पेशेंट दस पंद्रह दिन रह रहा है हॉस्पिटल में एंड वी आर नॉट एबल टू फाइंड नॉट एबल टू असेस पेरीफेरल वेन्स राइट टू पुट द कैनला वी नीड टू असेस द पेरीफेरल वेन राइट बट पेशेंट पंद्रह दिन रह रहा है Ideally, we should change the cannula in twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Rose, थोड़ी ना change करूँगे, right? दो दिन में हर दो दिन में तो change करने वाले नहीं हो. If you will put keep on putting the cannula for fifteen days, all the peripheral veins will be thrombolyzed, right? Thrombosis होता है. So that can happen. In that patient, what we will do? We will put a central venous catheter. Okay, we will put the central venous catheter. Okay, now question is not going to come on this, but it is going to come on the complications. Okay, it is going to come on the complication. Bleeding will be the most common complication, right? If we are going to put a catheter in the veins, the most common complication will be blood coming out of the veins. So most common complication is bleeding. Now while putting A central venous catheter in the neck. By mistake, you went directly inside the lungs. There is negative pressure in the lungs, and there is positive pressure in the air. So, what can happen? The air from the outside can go in the lungs, and what they can cause? They can cause pneumothorax or hemothorax as well, right? Hemothorax can come from bleeding, which is supposed to come out when Inside the lung, under ही अंदर bleed हो गया, right? A air bubble from the outside went in the catheter, and from that catheter it goes to heart or lung. That is called as air embolism, right? And believe me, whenever we are going to put a catheter, there will be some kind of changes while putting the catheter on. मॉनिटर अरिजमिया अरिजमिया भी होते हैं इवन पेशेंट कैन डाय वाइल पुटिंग सेंट्रल वेनस कैथेटर दैट्स वाय वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू पुट अ सेंट्रल वेनस कैथेटर वी टेक अ कंसेंट फ्रॉम द पेशेंट रिलेटिव एंड इवन वी विल टेल देम दैट पेशेंट कैन डाय ऑल्सो राइट कंसेंट साइन करके लेते हैं पहले अब क्वेश्चन कैसा आएगा क्वेश्चन इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम द एनेस्थीसिया साइड इट इज गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम सर्जरी एंड मेडिसिन ओके सर्जरी एंड मेडिसिन दो इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एनेस्थीसिया एज वेल सो ये जो डिसीज है प्लीज रेड इट प्लीज वहां से पढ़ो क्वेश्चन एनेस्थीसिया का होगा बट वो तुम्हें मेडिसिन या फिर सर्जरी का लगेगा ऑन एवरीबडी कैन क्लेम दैट क्वेश्चन एज वेल तो ये पता होना चाहिए क्या क्या कॉम्प्लिकेशन राइट रिसेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इंट्रा ऑशियस असेस क्या बोलेंगे हम इसे इंट्रा ऑशियस असेस इनसाइड द बोन असेस ओके Inside the bone assess. When we are going to cannulate a bone veins, emissary veins होते हैं. At the end of the bones, कब यूज़ करेंगे हम intraosseous assess? When there is, when we are not able to find, not able to find peripheral vein. BP absent, pulse absent. कब कर रहे हैं? In short, during CPR, right? Patient comes to emergency. BP absent है, pulse absent है, right? And we need to give immediately adrenaline, right? Immediately adrenaline हमें देना है. In that case, we will take a driller, brick driller. Okay, special drillers are made. We will drill the bone directly, and we will cannulate the emissary veins. Okay, when in short, patient is 
almost dead, right? Or patient is already dead. In that condition, we will do intraosseous assess in adults. Okay, ये था एक second one. Okay, in children. In children, when children is going to stay for a long time, reason being, normally we are going to put a central venous catheter, right? But childrens are smaller in the size, right? And they will not lie down at a one point, you know. बच्चे हैं इधर उधर खेलते, right? So there are chances that he will remove that central venous catheter, okay? Or लटका हुआ होता है fluids, all fluids are attached. So that fluid खेलेंगे बच्चे तो वो निकल के बाहर चला जाएगा and that catheter also can be removed but over here see if he is going to play खेल रहा है बच्चा तब भी ये निकलेंगे नहीं once there is a drill done in the bone the blood will not come out everything will go inside so for that reason we will use intraosseous assess in children ठीक है इट इज यूज टू प्रिवेंट टंग फॉल इन कॉन्शियस पेशेंट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल पेशेंट इज ऑफ Stroke or brain tumor, and there are chances of tongue fall in this patient. So what we will do? We will use nasopharyngeal airway. We will insert it from the nose. How do we measure? From the tip of nose to air lobule. Okay. From the tip of the nose to ear lobule. Okay, kya karne ke liye? To prevent the tongue fall. Then comes Goodall's airway. Remember this line: most commonly used airway. Okay, most commonly used or airway. It is not endotracheal tube. Goodall's airway is the most commonly used airway. Kis liye use karte? to prevent tongue fall in unconscious patient okay to prevent tongue fall in unconscious patient how do we measure from angle of mouth to angle of mandible or or tip of ear lobule both are correct both are correct theek hai dono mein kar sakte then comes et tube endotracheal tube okay endotracheal tube I will draw a diagram. The ugly one. It is like this. Okay, it is like this. Okay, it is like this. This end, this end. Okay, this end is called as bevelled end. क्या बोलेंगे हम इसे? This is bevelled end. What is this bevelled end? Why do we have a bevelled end? It is main port for ventilation. Okay, main port for ventilation. If you can appreciate this image, bevelled end is there, but there is one more hole. Okay, there is one more hole. Reason. Suppose 
this end is blocked by anything by sputum or some malignant cell right or is just touch the carina carina of the bronchus that time bevel end will be blocked and patient can die of right so actually murphy's eye is a alternate port kya ye kis liye when this bevel end is blocked we will can use murphy's eye for alternate ventilation right for alternate ventilation so what we have over here a hole kya naam hai iska murphy's eye kis liye hota hai for alternate port for ventilation if you can appreciate over here what do we have we have a cuff what is the work of cuff in endotracheal tube anyone maine to padha hai yaar aana chahiye cuff ka kya kaam hai yes कफ इज नॉट टू फिक्स द ट्यूब इन साइड द ट्रैकिया ट्रैकिया के अंदर ये फिक्स करने के लिए नहीं है एक्चुअली वेन एवर वी विल इन्फ्लेट दैट कफ और बलून बैक साइड में हमारे क्या इसोफेगस राइट फ्रॉम द इसोफेगस द गैस्ट्रिक कंटेंट कैन कम इन द ट्रैकिया दैट टाइम इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सी द ट्रैकिया बाई यूजिंग अ बलून और अ कफ दैट एस्पिरेशन विल नॉट कम इन द रिस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक्ट सो कफ का काम क्या है टू प्रिवेंट एस्पिरेशन ओके इट इज नॉट यूज फॉर फिक्सिंग ऑफ द ट्यूब ओके देन वी हैव सम मार्किंग्स छोटे छोटे मार्किंग्स होंगे राइट एंड देर विल बी अ बिग लाइन देर बी अ बिग लाइन विच इज गोइंग थ्रू आउट the big line is called as radio opaque line by this line we can see endotracheal tube on x ray or on ultrasound we can see okay how do we fix the tube we fix the tube by add the angle of add the angle of mouth by using tapes right by using tapes kaun se dinoplast suna hoga right dinoplast hum tube ko add the angle of mouth fix karenge cuff is not used to fix the tube remember this line they will ask this line only and second one is murphy's eye murphy's eye has been asked how to confirm the position of endotracheal tube okay mist and fogging in polyvinyl chloride tube pvc ki bani hoti hai tube right as soon as patient ko intubate karenge what will happen there will be chest expansion right relaxation chest expansion relaxation that is going to happen auscultation if you will auscultate the lung which sound will be heard bronco vesicular breathing right awaaz aayegi na saaf se reh kar ke chhod raha right and confirmatory test or investigation of choice is capnography this is the confirmatory test and this has been a in your exam recently right capnography ka matlab kya hai end tidal co2 value it is co2 check karte hain right so even they can give end tidal co2 value is used to confirm the correct position of et tube right chest x ray as i said there we have a radio opaque line 
here it is this line will be seen on chest x-ray that tube is present in the trachea tube is present in the trachea a tube right Samjha? then comes flexo metallic tube or isi ko bolte hum, armored tube take a look over here this tube is transparent endotracheal tube is transparent but flexo metallic tube is not transparent this is our normal tube and this is flexo metallic tube what it has it has yes correct it has wire inside kya hai iske andar metallic likha hai na it has wire inside right as it tube hai iske andar wirings hongi so if i want to fold this tube mujhe fold karna hai use it is not going to happen reason be wire hai. so it is folding ko hi bolte kinking okay so it is kink resistant now is a tube of choice for what either you can read or either you can remember the logic the tube will be used where we need to flex the neck right tube will be used here we need to flex the neck right so kaun se kaun se aise procedure hai where i need to flex the neck right there the tube of choice will be flex of metallic tube reason it is not going to fold that is called as kink resistance right yes neurosurgery right for example there is a tumor in my brain if you i want to remove the tumor i need the correct position of the head so sometimes my uh, patient head will be like this sometimes it will be like this sometimes it will be like this sometimes it can go like this right so my neck will be moving same goes to head and neck surgery prone position surgery for posterior fossa surgery of the head right dental surgery that ka kuch tumor hai wo nikalna hai spinal surgery spine start from the neck right neck ke upar se start hoga over there also we will use flexo metallic tube theek hai then comes dlt dlt double lumen tube double lumen tube what is the benefit of this one cuff will open like a normal endotracheal tube and second cuff or second part of the tube can go to the right lung can go to the left lung right so where we will use this tube where we need to operate on the lungs or in the thorax reason suppose mere right lung ki mujhe surgery kar rahi right so my left lung should get a proper ventilation right over there we will use double lumen surgery uh, sorry double lumen tube so it is tube of choice for what thoracic surgery right thoracic surgery mein hum do tube wali endotracheal tube use karenge lumen ka matlab kya hota hai do pipe hai uske sath now remember the confirmatory test for this is fibro optic bronchoscopy kaun si fibro optic bronchoscopy is the confirmatory test rest all the tube rest all the tube confirmatory test is going to stay capnography bas itni hi yaad rakho koi bhi ghuma ke puche answer is going to stay capnography only in one fibro optic bronchoscope kaun si that is double lumen tube if you would have seen all the tubes till now we had a cuff but over here there is a no cuff right so tube of choice isko bolte hai pehle uncuffed tube kya bolenge hum se uncuffed et tube 
uncuffed ubt tube now tell me uncuffed ubt tube is a tube of choice for what which patient what do you think images pe anesthesia se question aate hai yes that is wrong okay tube of choice in children and adult is going to stay normal cuffed endotracheal tube okay uncuffed et tube is only used neonates theek hai neonates theek hai children do have milks theek hai bahut sara khate bhi hai so there are chances of aspiration so normal endotracheal tube is a tube of choice in children also right aur bachcho ka age bahut bada hota hai in the neonates 0 to 28 days that time which what we will use this tube reason being kitna khate 10 20 30 ml max right of milk nothing else so uncuffed ato tube is a tube of choice in neonates not in the children okay that's why you get the question okay if you are seeing a curved and the et tube the name member the name it is r a e tube no need to remember the full form it is the right tube and where do we use it was okay it was no more it was used for cleft lip and palate surgery now question will come you using used in deep tube used in cleft lip and palate surgery remember it is normal endotracheal tube maine kya bola hai aapne okay tube now used is normal endotracheal tube okay ye tube nahi use hoti hai honi bhi to chahiye kai bhi use karne ke liye this is only present theoretically प्रैक्टिकली तो मुझे अभी तक दिखी नहीं है राइट सो इट वॉज यूज ठीक है कर्व्ड लैरिंगोस्कोप इज कॉल्ड एज मैकिंतोश कर्व्ड लैरिंगोस्कोप इज कॉल्ड एज मैकिंतोश लैरिंगोस्कोप एंड इट इज यूज इन हुम adult or kis mein use karenge in children as well okay child macintosh adult and children straight laryngoscope isko kya bolte hain millers ka use karenge in neonates in neonates okay theek hai कंफ्यूजन नहीं होना है नाउ आई नो सो मेनी ऑफ द पीपल्स वुड हैव रिटर्न मिलर यूज्ड फॉर चिल्ड्रन एज वेल नो ओके मैकिंतोश इज यूज्ड इन चिल्ड्रन न्यूनेट्स का आंसर मिलर है चिल्ड्रन में मिलर यूज नहीं होता ओके व्हिच पोजीशन इज यूज्ड फॉर लैरिंगोस्कोपी और इंटूबेशन नेम ऑफ द पोजिशन इज straightening of the neck straightening of the neck whenever dark uh, when dog barks right that is wrong okay that is wrong isko bolte hai barking dog position okay flexion of cervical spine and extension of atlanto occipital joint is called as barking dog position and it is achieved by putting a pillow behind the neck okay behind the neck now comes see barking dog position is nothing just straightening of neck like this so ye line mein aa jata okay it will come in the line rose position is like this rose position is like this what is happening my voice will go okay 
try to flex your neck like this back me voice is not going coming properly so how you can use this for intubation voice clear nahi aa raha hai uska matlab tumne airway ke andar kya kiya hai hai na faulty airway ho gaya na this is not used in intubation kaha use karenge this the rose position means extension of both the joint extension of both the joint but flexion and extension is happening in barking dog position if both are extended that means rose position and that is achieved by putting pillow behind the shoulder not behind the neck and that rose position is used to do thyroidectomy or thyroid surgery okay people get confused in this both the terms and that's why this question comes again and again in exam hall it is not the mistake of the student it is a mistake of the teacher as well okay so please remember this then comes naso tracheal intubation naso tracheal intubation the normal intubation is from mouth to the trachea that is called as oro tracheal intubation or normal intubation right what will be the indication of nose to trachea intubation putting a tube from the nose to trachea when there is problem in this oral part kab karenge jab problem oral cavity mein hai and we are not able to put a tube from the oral cavity that will be the indication fracture of mandible right we are going to operate on oral cavity or malam patti grade 4 right in adequate mouth opening that time also the intubation which can be done is naso tracheal intubation and believe me this is again theoretical or done for the publishing the papers even nahi karte right what will be the contraindication the problem is in the nose remember this concept no need to mug up all the things right now comes indication of any kind of intubation what do you think oro tracheal naso tracheal where tube is going actually tube is going to go in the trachea right so intubation as a whole will be contraindicated when there is problem in the trachea right contraindication of both oral and nasal intubation severe laryngeal edema vocal cord dikhi nahi raha we are not able to appreciate vocal cord that time we cannot intubate the patient severe epiglottitis right edema ho gaya epiglottis pe that time also we are not will be not able to see vocal cord again laryngeal tracheal bronchitis if you remember the sign name right narrowing hoti hai trachea राइट नैरोइंग होती है ट्रैके में पेंसिल टिप और स्टिपल साइन वोकल कॉर्ड दिखेगा इन्हें अंदर अगेन सो फो इन दिस ऑल व्हाट वी विल डू ट्रैकियो स्टोमी राइट ट्रैकियो स्टोमी विल बी यूज्ड इन दिस डिसीजेस राइट this image has been asked if you can appreciate it on endotracheal tube goodles airway laryngoscope so it is a intubation cart right intubation cart one more thing tracheostomy has same complication as of central venous catheter okay so dono question aa chuke hai paper mein as a clinical but unhone pucha hai complication so please read this from your ent notes if you can take look over here there is a central venous catheter with different different equipment so it is called as central venous catheter set both has been asked as a image okay 
then we come to some of the images okay important part okay it has been asked in your exam what is this first image it is classical element one hole with one tube okay one hole with one tube classical element two hole with two tube is called as lma prosil lma prosil okay it look like a l okay it look like l so it is i gel okay i gel over here we have a pilot balloon to inflate this element okay i gel me kahi pe balloon dikh raha hai no right it is just a lma it is kya bolenge hum ise it is uncuffed lma okay it do not have cuff reason being it has a gel and that gel will melt down in the trachea and will take the shape of trachea okay it is curved lma isko kya bolenge hum lma prosil lma prosil bolte hai sir and this was or this is the most important topic the reason being covid is coming back again and covid has came so many times okay oxygen delivery devices okay first one is venturi mask venturi mask theek hai venturi mask kya hota hai iske valves hote hai it has a valves and by using that valves we can fix fio2 ki hame patient ko kitna fio2 dena hai okay then comes this one is anesthesia mask what you will see color coding on the rim rim ka matlab hota border border pe iska color honga venturi mask has venturi valves okay so kahan pe honga jahan se oxygen andar aa raha hai okay this is called as simple face mask इसी को हम क्या बोलते हैं वट डू वी कॉल इट हर्ड सन हर्ड सन मास ट्रांसपेरेंट राइट पूरी तरह ट्रांसपेरेंट होगा नाउ इफ यू हैव सीन न्यूज वेन कोविड वॉज देयर यू वुड हैव सीन दिस काइंड ऑफ मास सिंपल फेस मास कनेक्टेड टू अ रिजर्वायर बैक सिंपल फेस मास्क कनेक्टेड टू रिजर्वायर बैग इसी को हम बोलते हैं एंड दिस वाज योर रिसेंट क्वेश्चन एन आर पी एम नॉन रिवर्देबल बैग एंड मास्क एन आर बी एम ओके ये क्यों दे रहे थे पेशेंट को इन द कोविड रीजन बीम ऑक्सीजन वेस्टेज ओके patient was taking high flow oxygen right and patient was wasting the oxygen that time this reservoir bag actually helps to avoid the wastage of oxygen okay isiliye ye use kar rahe the this was became quite famous now it is used everywhere theek okay? hai two tips hai na ye to easy hai this is nasal cannula but with nrvm one more instrument became famous the same nasal cannula is attached to a machine nasal cannula dikh raha hai is attached to machine is called as high flow nasal cannula kya bolenge sir high flow nasal cannula okay we didn't had a ventilators and in ards patient we can use high flow nasal cannula to avoid intubation okay high flow nasal uh, high flow oxygen delivery devices ye question bhi aa chuka hai tumhare paper mein you can remember by the meaning va okay they are fixed 
परफॉर्मन्स delivery devices they are fixed performance delivery devices means suppose there are five patients and i want to deliver 50% of fio2 in every patient 50% of fio2 in every patient okay i need to fix 50% in this devices okay they will deliver 50% of fio2 in every patient ठीक है हमें याद रखना है सब चीजें थेटिकली नहीं याद रखी अभी दे विल डिलीवर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एफ आई ओ टू इन ऑल द फाइव पेशेंट्स नाउ लो फ्लो ऑक्सीजन डिलीवरी डिवाइसेस दे आर वेरिएबल वेरिएबल परफॉर्मेंस ओके क्या होगा इसमें इफ आई वांट टू डिलीवर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एफ आई ओ टू इन ऑल द फाइव पेशेंट सम पेशेंट विल गेट फिफ्टी One patient will get fifty. Second might get forty. Third might get thirty. Okay, it will vary. It will vary in patient to patient. Okay, patient to patient it change होगा. But in high flow delivery devices, everything will be same. और ये question आ चुका है. You can go and check in your PYQs. These are the questions which has been asked. Okay. This should not be asked, but it has been asked in your recent exam. Okay. Now, how you can remember? Just remember it like this: nasal cannula, one to five liter. Nasal cannula, actually one liter. किसी को देते नहीं. Actually, it is two to five liter. ठीक है. One to five liter nasal cannula. Five to ten. कैसे याद रखेंगे हम? याद रखने की बात चल रही है थेरोटिकली नहीं बोल रहा हूँ एटलीस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस वेंचुरी मास्क दे हैव वॉल्व सो इट कैन बी फिक्सड एट एनी लेटर्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओके एफ आई ओ टू जैसे जैसे चेंज करना है उनके लेटर की साइज भी ऑक्सीजन की चेंज होती है कैसा रखना है वन टू फाइव नेजल फाइव टू टेन सिंपल फेस मास्क मोर देन टेन एनआरबीएम ओके मोर देन टेन एनआरबीएम दिस हैज बीन आस इसको रट के जाना देर इज नो अदर वे ठीक है देन कम्स एनेस्थीसिया मशीन ओके टायर्ड तो नहीं हो We will finish in half an hour. Okay. Oxygen has black body, white shoulder. Nitrogen blue. Antonox blue body with white shoulder. Carbon dioxide grey. Air has grey body with black and white shoulder. Helix black body with white and brown shoulder. Important. No pneumonic. It is made up of molybdenum. steel it is made up of molybdenum steel but they are not mri compatible mri compatible cylinders are made up of what anyone online are yaar answer karunge to jaldi khatam karunga ya fir mujhe lagega tumhe aata hi nahi yes it is aluminum sizes vary from a to h h okay a to h h smallest size ए है ठीक है बट ऑल सिलेंडर कैन नॉट बी फिक्स इन द एनेस्थेशिया मशीन टाइप ऑफ सिलेंडर अटैच टू एनेस्थेशिया मशीन इज टाइप ई वाई डू वी हैव अटैच टाइप ई सिलेंडर एनी वन बिकॉज इट हैज पिन इंडेक्स ओके इट हैज पिन इंडेक्स ठीक है ऑल ऑफ यू वेन टू द हॉस्पिटल एंड यू वुड हैव सीन नियर टू पेशेंट
is for the severe gas oxygen right blue is for what blue is layer yes nitrous oxide black is for air and yellow jo tumhe karna hai aur mil nahi raha yes that is suction isi ko hum bolte vacuum okay vacuum pin index pin index important pin index kis liye hai it is to prevent wrong fitting of cylinder to whom to anesthesia machine right to anesthesia machine okay air as 1 and 5 oxygen as 2 and 5 nitrous oxide as 3 and 5 anton ox has 7 heliox has 2 and 4 cyclopropane has 3 and 6 how you will remember aon okay a1 or aon you can remember by this 1 2 3 1 2 3 a on right you need to add 5 calculate the alphabet of antonox how many alphabets are there how many alphabets are there seven right heliox 2 and 4 calculate the alphabet of heliox Six, right? So two plus four is equal to six. And cyclopropane, hard work. Okay, everything is not going to be jugad. Sometimes you need to use your brains. Okay, best pneumonia ke market ka. That is hard work. Diameter index safety system. Why we had pin index to prevent the wrong fitting of cylinders. Now we have diameter index safety system. it is to prevent wrong fitting of central supply to anesthesia machine okay to anesthesia machine right वेपराइजर वेपराइजर क्या होता है वेपराइजर में इट हैज इनलेशनल एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट इट कंटेन्स इनलेशनल एनेस्थेटिक एजेंट है ना मोस्ट ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव अप नाउ राइट ऐसा लग रहा है सेशन छोड़ के भाग जाओ और खाना खाओ या कुछ और करो राइट दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट टाइम where you don't need to give up okay paper mein bhi honge ye cheez yaad rakhna padhna hai hame theek hai okay as i said all vaporizer will look same right all vaporizer will look same but there is a one special vaporizer which will look different this is of dash fluorine kaun sa hota hai टेक सिक्स बाकी सब सिमिलर दिख रहे बट ओवर एयर नो यूज दिस निमोनिक टू रिमेम्बर वन टाइम उसके बाद भूल जाना है वेपराइजर इसके बाद हार्ड नहीं लगेंगे मेरी गारंटी है हार्ट का कलर क्या है वट इज द कलर ऑफ हार्ट विच यू सेंड ऑन व्हाट्सअप टू योर बेबी एंड बाबू एंड शोना इट इज रेड हार्ट राइट or you can remember by rh okay by remember rh right kya padha raha hai kuch samajh nahi aa raha hai right aisa lag raha hai you are getting pissed off by me right 
Yes. The mnemonic is PIS or PIN index, whichever you want. Right? You know, bore to right? Bore or you know, yes. Yes. You know? And when do you don't have money to buy cigarettes in Gautam Nagar, what you will buy? BD, yes. Right? And Eno comes in orange color as well. So mnemonic is Eno. Use this one time, forget. Okay. This is the mnemonic for the vaporizer. Has been asked. Once a circuit, this is C balloon or cuff with a tube inside. Is Kender gay? There is a greenish tube. Okay, tube within a tube. Green color is Kender tube. So remember, this circuit is called as Bain's circuit. Kya bolenga mise? Bain's circuit. Okay, this is Bain's circuit. Okay, these are commonly used circuit. Circuit without tube inside or it is transparent. It is your Magill circuit. Kya bolenga mise? Magill circuit. This is called as Magill circuit. Not transparent or tube has inside will be Bain's. Okay, Bain's. Two tube circuit. Two tube circuit is called as lax circuit. Kya bolenga hum se? Lax circuit. Okay. Now you will get confused between Magill and this circuit. But if you can appreciate, Magill ke tip pe kuch laga nahi hai. Jo balloon hai, uske tip pe kuch nahi hai. Over here also, there is nothing. Okay. But there is a circuit which has walls. Okay. Which has expiratory wall. Yes, this circuit is called as Jackson. And Reed's circuit. Okay. This means what? In that balloon, the air is coming out of to control how much air should can go. We have an expiratory wall like a structure. In short, there is a hole here. Jackson and Re circuit has hole at the end of the back. Baki kisi me nahi. I have shown you this image in the class. It is single limb closed circuit. Why you're not going to get the image of uh Close circuit. I have told you because it is very big. Okay, वो नहीं आएगा. यही images से जो आने के chances है. Okay, close circuit के आएंगे तो you will get line diagram. You will get line diagram. Now comes day care surgery. Okay, I will not go into detail. I will just write down the drugs. IV agent कौन सा use होता है? Propofol, inhalational anesthetic agent. Kaun se use hota hai daycare surgery mein? Sevo fluorine followed by des fluorine. Okay, controversial. Okay, controversial. Then comes neuromuscular blocker. Anyone? Which neuromuscular blocker is used? 
opioid local anesthetic agent no succinylcholine has side effects right so we will not use it even for daycare surgery remember prerequisites for daycare surgery will be chalo main i will just tell orally we have to follow the fasting protocol first thing theek hai patient should fast for 6 hour succinylcholine use ka ho raha hai in full stomach patient right but daycare surgery is done cup it is a planned surgery for minor ots cataract surgery laparoscopic cholecystectomy right fibro adenoma removal that time we are going to do daycare surgery kya hai usme pre medication hum follow karenge we will follow all the fasting protocol right so succinyl cholin yeah use nahi hoga neuromuscular buckle kaun sa hota hai yes rock uronium opioid remi fentanyl लोकल एनेस्थेटिकेशन कौन सा यूज होगा क्लोर प्रोकेन ओके यू कैन रिमेम्बर बाय द निमोनिक सी पी आर ओके यू कैन यूज दिस निमोनिक टू रिमेम्बर द ड्रग यूज इन डे केयर सर्जरी सिंगल बेस्ट आंसर विल बी द विस The answer which we have mug up single best okay of course we are not going to use only one drug ye bhi yaad rakho har bar drug of choice for take care surgery aa raha hai probable tum maar rahe ho but question mein all of the above bhi dekh lena ek bar okay option d should be ruled out whether they have written all of the above or not हर कोई बाहर आके प्रोपोवल प्रोपोवल चिल्लाता है बट क्वेश्चन वहां अलग आया हो तो देखना है ढंग से देख के आना है वहां पे कि क्या है आंसर टेन मिनट्स मोर what is the diagnosis first that is malignant hyperthermia right malignant hyperthermia what they have asked they have asked which drug along with halothene will cause malignant hyperthermia answer kya as i said before The answer is succinyl choline, right? Succinyl choline. A kidney disease होता है पूरे इसमें जो हमें पढ़ना है anesthesia में, right? <coughs> What are the causes? What are the causes? Remember all halogenated. Inhalational anesthetic agent will cause malignant hyperthermia. Okay, in short, I say, remember that sub inhalational anesthetic agent can cause malignant hyperthermia. Maximum is with which? That is with halothene. Halothene is inhalational anesthetic agent, right? Succinyl choline. Okay, succinyl choline lignocaine. But very very rarely okay very very rarely samajh aa gaya question kaise aayega if you want to know just a example all of the following causes malignant hyperthermia except all of the following causes malignant hyperthermia except b 
बोल के भी गलत हुआ राइट क्या बोला था मैंने अभी ऑल एग्जाम्पल भी देता कि ऐसे याद रखो ऑल ठीक है हेलोजिनेटेड सो आंसर इज एक्चुअली डी ठीक है क्वेश्चन इज टू स्टेट नाउ हेलोथेन सक्सन एलकोलिन लिग्नोकेन Now the answer will be. Now answer will be D. समझ आया? This is called playing with the minds. Okay. मेरे जैसा होगा तो ऐसे ही क्वेश्चन बनाएगा. And you will get your favorite number, one forty nine. So question ढंग से पढ़ना है. Okay. It is defect in which receptor? R Y आर वन के उसी को बोलते राइनोडिन रिसेप्टर डिफेक्ट इन विच चैनल डिफेक्ट इन कैल्शियम चैनल ठीक है कैल्शियम चैनल एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर कैल्शियम एक्ट ऑन विच पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी एक ऐसा पार्ट है जिसे पूरे सब पार्ट में प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है ओके यस इट एक्ट ऑन एट्री ऑफ द हार्ट एट्री का जो कॉन्ट्रेक्शन है इट हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ कैल्शियम चैनल विच प्रेजेंट ऑन द हार्ट सो हार्ट में सब एबनॉर्मेलिटी स्टार्ट हो जाएंगी हार्ट रेट इंक्रीज होगा बीपी इंक्रीज होगा एंड इफ सम यू वु एक्सपीरियंस दिस इन योर लाइफ हार्ट रेट और बीपी इंक्रीज होने के बाद आफ्टर सम टाइम देर इज रेज इन बॉडी टेम्परेचर बॉडी का टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज हो जाता है कान गरम हो जाते हैं है ना बीपी हार्ट रेट इंक्रीज होने के बाद सो सेम इज गोइंग टू हैपन बट ट्वेंटी थर्टी टाइम्स एक्स अपने मतलब बीस से तीस गुना ज्यादा जोर से हो रहा है इस टाइम पे सो देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज इन हार्ट रेट इंक्रीज इन बीपी राइट सब कुछ होगा इस पेशेंट रीजन कैल्शियम है बाहर आया हुआ ओके ब्लड में घूम रहा है कैल्शियम सो इट विल इंक्रीज एवरीथिंग अलॉन्ग विथ योर टेम्परेचर उसी को बोलते हैं मैलिग्नेंट हाइपर थर्मिया ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस डेंट्रोलिंग राइट हैज बीन आस डेंट्रोलिंग ठीक है डेथ क्यों होंगी इस पेशेंट में डिफेक्ट इन कैल्शियम चैनल आई एक्सेप्ट दिस बट डेथ क्यों होंगी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल डेट विल बी ड्यू टू हाइपोथेर नो कैल्शियम इतना है बॉडी में बॉडी विल बी कंस्ट्रिक्टेड रिजिडिटी आ जाएंगे उसके अंदर and because of that calcium muscle pe bhi act karta hai so it will break down the muscle right usi ko bolte hain myoglobinuria and this myoglobin from the muscle will come in urine okay will come in urine renal failure one more thing calcium will increase everything but you are not going to die yes the brother of calcium is actually very dangerous okay hypokalemia and even hyperkalemia can kill the patient so actually patient is going to die because of hyperkalemia increase in potassium will cause changes on the ecg okay will cause changes on the ecg and patient can lie into mi and patient can die increase in potassium can damage the kidney as well okay can damage the kidney as well and patient can die of renal failure as well yahan to do do cheeze hai hai na aur hyperkalemia okay patient calcium badhne se nahi mar raha potassium increase ho raha hai calcium ko counter karne ke liye because of that patient is going to die 
ठीक है एक पॉजिटिव आयन किसने इंक्रीज किया ड्यू टू मैलिग्नेट हाइपरथर्मिया अवर बॉडी विल इंक्रीज अदर पॉटेशियम पॉजिटिव आयन टू डिक्रीज दिस पॉजिटिव आयन इनफ्लक्स इफ्लक्स का खेल है ये जो जनरल फिजियोलॉजी में तुम पढ़ते हो ठीक है फाइव मिनट्स मोर Yes, answer is B. Call for help. Check for pulse. Do CPR and defibrillate. Okay. If I will add one more. Now, what will be the answer? Right. Suppose. There is an earthquake or building खत्म हो रही है building गिर रही है right there is a fall of building उस time पे क्या होगा and you start CPR over there right instead of doing one CPR now other people has to do two CPR so first step is scene safety if scene is not safe you cannot perform CPR reason be if you are alive first then only you can save a dead patient right or cardiac arrest patient So first, take that patient to a safe scene. Otherwise, anyway, he is going to die, and you are also going to die with him. So first step is scene safety. If that not in the option, which has happened in your exam, the answer is call for help, shout, right? Check for pulse, start CPR, get automated external defibrillator as soon as possible, and defibrillate, right? These guidelines are which ones? That is BLS, basic life support guidelines followed in outside the hospital, right? First step, care. Scene safety. Then call for help. How you will call? By shouting, right? By shouting. And India me nahi hai to activate the emergency number number so that ACLS ambulance can come. और ए सी एल एस टीम कैन कम एंड स्टार्ट सी पी आर राइट इंडिया में इतना फास्ट नहीं होता है एंड गेट द एडी ऑटोमेटेड एक्सटर्नल डिफ्यूरलेटर एज सुन एज पॉसिबल राइट बी एल एस गाइडलाइन में वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू चेक वी आर गोइंग टू चेक पल्स एंड ब्रीदिंग हाउ वी विल चेक ब्रीदिंग बाय लुकिंग एट द चेस्ट एक्सपांशन ठीक है चेस्ट एक्सपांड हो रही है नहीं हो रही उतना ही चेक करोगे इफ इट इज नॉट एक्सपांडिंग दैट मीन ब्रीदिंग इज नॉट प्रेजेंट पल्स कहा चेक करते इन द कैरोडी ट्राइंगल फॉर हाउ मेनी सेकेंड पल्स विल बी चेक फॉर लिखा सब कुछ है बस समझ में नहीं आता हमें राइट ओनली टेन सेकेंड इफ यू आर नॉट फीलिंग पल्स विद इन टेन सेकेंड दैट मीन्स पेशेंट की पल्स इज एबसेंट पेशेंट पल्स इज एबसेंट ना वॉट कैन हैपन पेशेंट अनकॉन्शियस था पेशेंट माइड बी अनकॉन्शियस ड्यू टू हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया ठीक है पेशेंट को हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल उसकी वजह से वो अनकॉन्शियस था ऑफकोर्स इन दिस पेशेंट वी आर गोइंग टू सी पल्स प्रेजेंट ब्रीदिंग प्रेजेंट हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया था इसलिए थोड़ा सा अनकॉन्शियस हो गया ऑफकोर्स इन दैट पेशेंट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सी पी आर वॉट वी विल डू मॉनिटर करना है इस पेशेंट को है ना हाइपोग्लाइसिया में पेशेंट ऑल्सो कैन गो इन टू कार्डिया अरेस्ट जा तो कोई भी सकता है राइट सो व्हाट वी विल डू दे हैव गिवन एक्चुअली आई फॉरगॉट टू पुट द इमेज वी विल मॉनिटर द पेशेंट एंड वी विल पुट द पेशेंट इनटू कौन सी पोजीशन होती है लेफ्ट लैटरल पोजिशन Why we are going to in short ऐसे बिठाएंगे उसको लेटाएंगे on the left side reason being we have heart 
and we have brain if you are going to put patient like this so maximum blood flow from your body will go to heart and brain right zinda lagne ke liye dono zaruri hai so we'll put the patient into left lateral position google it this image has been asked then comes breathing absent pulse absent or patient is having this kind of breathing isi ko bolte hain gasping patient is not able to breathe properly patient is not able to breathe properly and pulse is absent we will give cpr what we will do we will give cpr now comes breathing is absent and pulse is present pulse present hai but there is no chest expansion so what we will do one breath every 6 seconds one breath every 6 seconds total kitne ho rahe around 10 to 12 breath per minute right 10 to 12 breath per minute right pulse kitne minute pe check karna hai ye bhi pucha ja chuka hai okay every 2 minutes we will check the pulse okay we will check the pulse aana chahiye कब तक सीपीआर करना है टिल एडी अराइज ऑटोमेटेड एक्सटर्नल डिफिब्रिलेटर बट बिलीव मी दिस इज नॉट फॉर इंडियन सिनारियो इट इज नॉट फॉर इंडियन सिनारियो अब मुझे बताओ पूरे गौतम नगर में कहां पर एडी लगा हुआ है राइट मोस्ट ऑफ यू लिव इन गौतम नगर हैव यू सीन एड इज अटैच बाई गवर्नमेंट एनीवेयर नो इट इज प्रेजेंट ओनली इन मेट्रो स्टेशन और ऑन एयरपोर्ट्स By God grace, अगर होगा तो सो दिस इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल इन इंडियन सीनारियो तो एडी कौन लेके आएगा इन इंडियन सीनारियो इफ ए सी एल एस टीम अराइव ओके ए सी एल एस टीम एस एम्बुलेंस बट दैट टू एडवांस कार्डिया लाइफ सपोर्ट एम्बुलेंस सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी ट्रेक्ट ठीक है एडी कब लग रहा है इंडियन सिनेरियो में व्हेन एम्बुलेंस इज अराइव सो क्वेश्चन चेंज होगा सबसे पहले एम्बुलेंस आने के बाद क्या अटैच करेंगे दे विल अटैच एडी फर्स्ट इन इंडियन सिनेरियो एंड दस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट ठीक है थोड़ा सा बचा है What is this? See, when you are not able to understand the rhythm, there is no rhythm. It's look like the bacha is drawing something, right? A kid is drawing a straight line. Its answer is ventricular fibrillation. What does it mean? Ventricular fibrillation. ventricular fibrillation you will start the cpr and you will use defibrillator ventricular fibrillation monitor pe kab detect hoga when patient is in aclas ambulance right or patient is in the hospital so we are talking about aclas guidelines and this question has been asked when you are not able to understand this is uska matlab hai ventricular fibrillation okay i used to remember it like this okay it look like a m okay it look like a m ek ko uthayenge m jaisa dikh raha hai isko bolte hain monomorphic vitti kya bolenge hum ise mono morphic vitti in both in both what we will do cpr plus defibrillation these are shockable rhythm so first step in shockable rhythm ventricular fibrillation and monomorphic vt is give the shock uska matlab hota hai defibrillation theek then comes non shockable rhythm 
तीन को क्या बोलते हैं नॉन शॉकेबल रिदम ओके फ्लैट लाइन इसको क्या बोले हम फ्लैट लाइन ओके फ्लैट लाइन उसको सफेस्टिकेटेड लैंग्वेज में कहा जाता है ए सिस्टोल ए सिस्टोल नो सिस्टोल राइट देर आर नो बीट्स ऑन द ईसी जी इसको सिस्टोल नाउ इफ यू कैन टेक लुक ओवर हियर इट लुक्स लाइक नॉर्मल ईसी जी बट वॉट विल हैपन पल्स विल बी एबसेंट ओके पल्स विल बी ऑबसेंट इसी को बोलते हैं पल्सलेस इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी एंड बिलीव मी वेन ऑल ऑफ अस आर गोइंग टू डाई दिस इज गोइंग टू कम ऑन इस जी ओके ये हमारी आखिरी लाइन है जो भगवान की जगह ओके God is going to draw the last line. Is this one flat line? Okay, pulseless electrical activity and flat line. What will be the first step? First step, क्या होंगे इसकी? Start CPR or क्या? Plus injection adrenaline. Okay. Why we cannot use defibrillator over here? कहा डिफिब्रिलेट करूंगे सर देयर शुड बी सम वेव्स टू डिफिब्रिलेट टू गिव शॉक राइट सो वी कैन नॉट यूज इट एंड ओवर एयर देयर आर नॉर्मल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस वी डोंट नीड टू डिफिब्रिलेट राइट सो वी विल नॉट यूज डिफिब्रिलेटर इन दिस पेशेंट एंड दिस इज व्हाट आवर एसीएलएस गाइडलाइन सेज व्हाट विल बी द फर्स्ट स्टेप ओवर एयर व्हिच कोड इज यूज्ड when you are doing cpr in hospital which code is used when you are doing cpr in the hospital code blue code blue okay code blue either you will shout it or you will inform someone to shout on the speaker right even the sweeper which is working in the hospital knows how to do cpr so what you will do you will activate code blue okay what you will do you will start the cpr you will attach advanced airways okay advanced airways ka matlab kya hota hai either you will intubate the patient or you will put patient on lms right lma या फिर इंटोबेशन या फिर लास्ट ऑप्शन इज थायरोडेक्टोमी और क्रिकोथायरोडेक्टोमी वॉट एवर यू कैन डू वी विल यूज एडवांस एयरवेज इन ए सी एल एस गाइडलाइन बी एल एस वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज एडवांस एयरवेज रीजन बी एल एस गाइडलाइंस कैन बी परफॉर्म बाय एनी वन यू डोंट नीड एक्सपर्टीज लाइक अ डॉक्टर ओके जो भी ट्रेन है बी एल एस गाइडलाइंस में दे कैन डू बी एल एस ए सी एल एस गाइडलाइंस followed by doctors in the hospital so what we will use we will attach monitor we will attach defibrillator we will intubate the patient right simultaneously it will be the team work tum jo pad rahe ho line mein hai but the team work hota hai 10 char paas log ho at least one will be intubating one will be doing cpr one will be putting cannula and giving adr right As soon as we will attach the monitor, what we will see? We will see ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. So, what will be the first step in ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia? Shock. That is called as defibrillator, right? What will be the first step in asystole or pulseless electrical activity? That is induction adrenaline. Okay, induction adrenaline. अगर याद हो I have shown you the image, IV assess or IO assess. IO का मतलब है intra osseous assess. Right? कहाँ यूज़ होगा? CPR में. Now,
सी ये टेबल पढ़ लेना आई विल नॉट टीच नाउ टेबल पीस पढ़ लेना दिस इज कॉल्ड एज गुड क्वालिटी सी पी आर ओके पुश हार्ड पुश फास्ट ओके एटलीस्ट टू इंचेस उसका मतलब होता है फाइव सेंटीमीटर राइट रीड दिस दिस हैज बीन आस्ट ओके ऑल एक्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन then comes how many time we can give shock take a look at the table how many times we can give shock medicine question treatment of choice for pa or bt is shock right drug of choice in vf and vt is Amiodarone. Okay. Treatment of choice or drug of choice in acetol is going to stay as adrenaline. Okay. Adrenaline is a drug of choice and treatment of choice. But over here there are differences. Okay. कितनी बार शॉक दे सकते? We can give maximum. थ्री टाइम्स शॉक ओनली तीन बार ही हम शॉक लगा सकते हैं कितनी बार दे सकते हैं इट कैन बी गिवन फॉर टू टाइम्स ओनली टोटल डोज भी पूछते दैट इज फोर फिफ्टी एम जी फोर फिफ्टी एम जी एडिनोसिन अलग है ड्रग है अमियोडरन अलग है याद रखना कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है अमियोडरन कितनी बार दे रहे हम दो बार दैट टू फोर फिफ्टी एम जी ओनली राइट देन दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट टू थ्री मिनट ब्राइडी कार्डिया ब्राइडी कार्डिया ओके वी डू नॉट फॉलो हरिसन वेन इट कम्स फॉर ब्राइडी कार्डिया रिमेंबर दिस ओके वो जो तुम पढ़ते हो मेडिसिन के लिए बट एज सुन एज वी सी अ पेशेंट ऑफ ब्राइडी कार्डिया or if you are going to get a case on bradycardia remember that question has been asked by an anesthetic guy it is not for medicine when we consider bradycardia when it is less than 50 per minute okay american heart association ke guidelines hai okay american heart association ke guidelines are right so bradycardia ke treatment kya hai drug of choice How to identify it is bradycardia? कुछ नहीं याद रखना The distance between QRS complexes is increase. That to how? Same ah. Distance between QRS complexes is increase. That means it is bradycardia. Drug of choice for bradycardia is atropine. And this was last two last attempt I think, or two attempts before. This was the question. What they ask? Patient with snake bite. Patient with snake bite. Okay. Presented to the hospital. Now, now he is having decrease in BP or decrease in heart rate. Okay. Heart rate decrease हो रहा है. So anti snake venom was given. Still patients heart rate is going down. What is the treatment? and this is the question even patient when mi is going to happen na myocardial infarction patient will have hypotension okay patient ko pehle hypotension hoga ya fir hypertension hoga that patient will land in mi so kya dena tha hame we have to give atropine okay maximum dose of atropine is 3 mg मतलब इन शॉर्ट हम क्या कर रहे हैं एक दो तीन वी कैन यूज थ्री शॉर्ट्स वन एम जी वन एम जी के राइट नाउ क्वेश्चन कैन बी अगेन ट्रिक पेशेंट ऑफ स्नेक बाइट प्रेजेंटेड टू हॉस्पिटल एंटी स्नेक सिरम वाज गिवन पेशेंट बीपी इज फॉर इन डाइन सो थ्री एम जी ऑफ एट्रोपीन इज गिवन व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट लाइन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट हार्ट रेट डिक्रीज हो रहा है एट्रोपिन देने के बाद भी रिमेंबर वी विल गिव 
याद रखना है बात ठीक है इट इज नॉट स्टैट ड्रग स्टैट ड्रग एक ही है दैट इज एट्रोपिन रेस्ट आर इन्फ्यूजन्स रेस्ट आर इन्फ्यूजन्स कौन सा इन्फ्यूजन देंगे दैट इज एड्रीनालिन एड्रीनालिन एंड डोपामिन सो हम नेक्स्ट ड्रग कौन सा देंगे एड्रीनालिन इन्फ्यूजन रीजन एड्रीनालिन हर हॉस्पिटल में इजिली अवेलेबल जल्दी से हो जाता है डोपामिन का थोड़ा क्वेश्चन आता है बट एड्रेनालिन विल बी प्रेजेंट इन एवरी वर्ड राइट सो वी विल गिव एड्रेनालिन बट नॉट एज अ स्टैट ड्रग विच वी यूज इन ए सी एल एस गाइडलाइंस में हमने ऐसे किया था स्टैट ओर वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू एज अ आई वी इन्फ्यूजन देंगे इसे ठीक है एज अ आई वी इन्फ्यूजन इट विल गिव ठीक है then comes adult tachycardia according to american heart association tachycardia kab consider karenge when heart rate is more than 150 okay more than 150 ab isme do scenario bante hain okay what i am saying there will be Two scenario of tachycardia. Patient is becoming unconscious, okay, or there is decrease in BP. क्या बोल रहा हूँ मैं? There is decrease in BP. इसका मतलब क्या? Patient is hemodynamically unstable. Unconscious हो रहा है या उसका BP fall हो रहा है? उसका मतलब होता है patient is hemodynamically unstable in unstable patient what i am saying in unstable patient the treatment is cardioversion cardioversion kaise karte right aisa hota hai cardioversion and defibrillator mein difference kya hai डिफिब्रिलेशन कैन बी डन एट एनी पॉइंट पॉइंट ऑफ ई सी जी बट डिफिब्रिलेटर इज कार्डियोवर्जन इज डन एट पीक ऑफ क्यूर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स दोनों शॉक ही देना है बस मेथड सा लगे ओके कब करेंगे वेन पेशेंट इज हिमोडाइनेमिकली अनस्टेबल बट पेशेंट इज स्टेबल बीपी नॉर्मल है उसका फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्रीटमेंट इज एडिनोसिन एडिनोसिन देंगे यू या हर्ट है ना यहाँ पे क्या करते नेक पे मसाज करेंगे कैरोटिड मसाज राइट दैट विल बी डन कब करेंगे व्हेन पेशेंट इज हीमोडाइनेमिकली स्टेबल ये ट्रिक्स होती है ये आनी चाहिए द क्वेश्चन विल लुक लाइक अ मेडिसिन क्वेश्चन बट बिलीव मी दैट क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम एनस्थिसिया साइड ठीक है इवन यूर होल ऑफ द सी होल ऑफ द सी इज पार्ट ऑफ एनस्थिसिया एज वेल ठीक है जो वो बता रहे हैं वो एक्चुअली एनस्थिसिया में भी है ठीक है अंडरस्टूड दिस इफ इट इज अंडरस्टूड ओके ओनली थर्टी डेज आर रिमेनिंग ट्वेंटी नाइन एक्चुअली टू रीड प्लीज स्टडी प्रॉपरली रिमेंबर डू नॉट गिव अप ओके डू नॉट गिव अप जंग बाकी है ना? हारा वही जो लड़ा नहीं तो भाई हमें जीतना है ओके हमें जीतना है जंग छोड़नी नहीं है आखिर तक ठीक है बी कॉन्फिडेंट यू विल पास फॉर शो ओके आई बिलीव इन यू ओके इफ यू आर सेटिंग फॉर थ्री आवर्स दैट मींस यू हैव द कैपेसिटी टू क्रैक इट है ना जंग हारनी नहीं है जिन लोगों ने भी तुम्हें बुरा भला कहा है सब वो तालियां बजा रहे होंगे बस या के याद रखना है छोड़ना नहीं है मैदान छोड़ने वाला तो पहले हार गया ठीक है हारेंगे तो हम हमारे बैड लक की वजह से हारेंगे खुद से नहीं हारना है ओके यू आर गोइंग टू बी अ गुड डॉक्टर सो एक्ट लाइक अ डॉक्टर अ वॉरियर सोल्जर की तरह है ना 
we are doctors we do not give up even patient is dead so let's act like a doctor in exam hall padho 30 din mehnat karo acche se do not run for every sessions do not run for every video and please say no to long duration classes okay this is time for self study 12 12 ghante ki class karne se fayda nahi hota hai theek hai that's why i am not taking big classes maybe banner laga ke 12 ghante class karwa sakta hu koi problem nahi hai kyun nahi karwa raha this is not the time this is time for self study that's it okay so please study do not waste your time for attending all the sessions zarurat hai to hi karo नहीं जरूरत इट्स ओके ओके इट्स ओके इफ आर नॉट डूइंग इट चलो विद दिस आई विल एंड द सेशन ओके गुड नाइट टू ऑल होप दिस वाज फ्रूटफुल ठीक है पढ़ लेना एक बार इसको चलो गुड नाइट गुड नाइट टू ऑल